Welcome, my friends, to the Shivering Isles, a completely remastered Skyrim DLC. And my god, I cannot wait to share this with you. It's like a trip of nostalgia. Back to the Elder Scrolls Oblivion Shivering Isles, with a whole new landmass and map to explore. We will of course be doing the side quest and the main quest in this playthrough and there's just so much attention to detail that I want to point out to you guys in this mod. This is actually from the same team who are working on Skyrim Extended Cut which is basically a remaster of Skyrim's main quest line and it really does get me excited for just how good that's gonna be because this is really high quality. So first let's take a look at the trailer for this mod so you guys know what to expect before we get started. But if you also take a moment to like the video it's really gonna help push this video out to other people that haven't heard about this mod yet so everyone can check it out because it's honestly incredible. <laughs> Once upon a time there lived a prince who ruled over a faraway island. Eventually, his enemies tried to claim his island for themselves. A mighty hero traveled to the island and saved its people from certain doom. That's Shirley Curry, but that's isn't not it? the end of the story. For the prince wished to punish those who had turned against him. He built a great prison to hold them at the very fringes of the island. Dude, protected by high walls and deep waters. The exiles were forced to wander in this land for eternity, watched over by the prince's most faithful warriors, the golden saints and the dark seducers. Some say that these prisoners have lost their lives and given up on any hope of escape. But others say that they're still looking for a way out. Oh man, this is so nostalgic. And Heavy Burns has definitely edited this because it just looks insanely good. Such a... This reminds me of my childhood playing for Shivering Isle as watching this. Incredible. Oh, is that the gatekeeper? <laughs> He's so skinny. Skyrim Extended Cut Saints and Seducers, here we go. There's an after credit scene. So good to see you again! <laughs> and for the very first time. <laughs> Cool little reference. Start this quest to yourself, you're going to want to come here on the map to Solitude. Once you arrive in town, you're going to want to find Dervinin. Please. You'll then receive the quest, The Mind of Madness. Next, you'll need to head over to the Blue Palace to start Shergoreth's Daedric quest. After you've done the quest, you need to go ahead and leave Solitude. Then you're going to go ahead and sleep for six hours. After resting, we're going to head back to Solitude, but make sure you come outside of the city because you actually need to come through the main gate here to trigger this quest to activate. So let us begin, Battle Brothers. Investigate the source of the quake. I like how the guard just doesn't Let bat an eyelid. Someone stole your sweet roll. <laughs> He's just angry, man. So under miscellaneous, we have a new quest to investigate the source of the quake. Down here in the depths of Solitude's sewers, within we shall go. Hello there. I'm still here in Earthquake. So there's a bit of a prison up here as well. Some hanging moss. Careful. Our footsteps will echo in every chamber and tunnel. Ah, you're not wrong, Genesa. We have replaced Lydia for this playthrough, unfortunately. Oh my god, he went down pretty quickly. The solitude waste works. Hmm. Wonder what we'll find here. Investigate the strange tunnel. There's butterflies and moss. A strange fungi we've never seen before. <gasps> what 
is this creature? Hello? Oh! oh. Watch out! I can... Ah. Kill it, Janissa! Ah. Die! Oh, there's a bigger one! Get back! Beast! A nymph. What is this strange green phenomenon? Restore magic and discovered. Nice. And it also has mystic venom. But we're gonna harvest these ingredients. Everything is harvestable. My goodness, look at this. Beautiful. I'm interested to see how this turns into what the mod creators have done to change the original quest line. I missed. That was such a big run up to nothing, essentially. Don't worry, Jenna, I will defend you. Die! Ah! Yeah! Die. God, she's killing a sprigging in the background there. A gnarl. Don't worry, I'll help you. Ah, oh, it's already dead. Well done, Yellow Sir. Gnarly bark, eh? I'll eat that and discover its properties. Get wrecked. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Me too, me too. Look at her posing there, looking magnificent. I love it. Seems to be two roots. There's one back into the sewers of solitude. With some more gnarls. Get back! Fool! I shall destroy you! Don't even try and heal yourself. Jenisa, I'm going to need some help in here. Taking on the bloody wildlife zoos of solitude in the basement. What is that? I can hear something. Sounds like a nest of angry bees. 43 septums. Jenisa, thank, thank goodness we came down here. Yeah, it looks like a dead end anyway. Let's get out of here. Clearly taking a wrong turn somewhere. Go back up here. Explore what looks like the interior of the Great Root Tree. Hello there. Die, beast! Ha! Ah, this character doesn't have any shouts, by the way. He's just a warrior with one-handed skill and shield ability. Thank you, Janissa. I thought you were just back there having a tea party or something. Wait until we meet Cher Gora for those shenanigans. What is this? A golden saint. A golden bow and arrows. She's empty. Yeah, definitely asleep. Don't pretend with me. How about you, sir? Are you asleep? Can't take their armor, but they do have a golden saint's helmet and sword. And a mace and gauntlets. Very nice. A golden bass. Genesa, there's so much loot here. And it's all for free. A golden saint sword. Do you want that? Need something. No, I was going to give you something. If that is what you wish. I do wish that indeed. Here, take this bow and this golden sword. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, she, she likes her new toy, guys. We've clearly earned some brownie points. Hello there. A survivor of the Golden Saints. Tell me why I should not kill you where you stand. Voice acting is very good. I'd like to see you try. I ask myself the same question now and then. <laughs> what? Wait. You must be... Yes. You are the mortal who aided Lord Sheogorath. I remember him. I helped him heal Pelagius III's mind. Yes. You survived Pelagius's madness, which makes you especially resilient for a mortal. Alright, I'm Gherkin. Who are you? And why are you here? Yes, I called myself Gherkin. My name is Sada, of the Orioles. I'm a guardian of the Shimmering Isles, and the favoured servant of the Prince of Madness. For centuries, the Isles have been home to the Asylum, a realm that serves as a prison for my lord's enemies. But the Mad God's absence and the chaos that has resulted in the years since gave the prisoners the opportunity they needed to start a riot. A riot? The guards have been slain, 
the exiles threatened to escape and wreak havoc. I have been tasked with restoring stability to the asylum. I see. How did the riot start? One of the exile prisoners, a battle mage named Thorin, managed to win the loyalty of both of the main prisoner groups. We have always encouraged them to turn on each other instead of their jailers. Short-sighted as they are, they take the bait. Unfortunately, Thorin was clever enough to remind them of their common enemy, us. While Lord Sheagorath was away, he and his followers took the guards by surprise, overwhelming our forces. Oh, that's cool. Now, the exiles grow closer to escape by the minute. That's really interesting because they're playing on the fact that Lord Shergorath was on holiday for a few years, so the things have started to go wrong in the Shivering Isles. What will happen if these prisoners escape? Look around you. The Shivering Isles have already touched your realm, and the consequences are obvious. Our worlds belong apart. As for the exiles, I cannot say for certain, though I expect they will lash out at everyone and everything they can. Hundreds of years of imprisonment has not softened their hearts. What do the prisoners do to earn centuries of punishment anyway? Most turned against the Mad God during the Grey March, ah. an attack on the Isles that last occurred centuries ago. These deviants betrayed our Lord and were exiled to the Asylum for their treason. So the Grey March was what we saw in the intro in the trailer there, and you want me to help? The only ones left guarding the Asylum are Dylora, the commander of the Maskin, and myself. We cannot be everywhere at once. We require aid if we are to protect the Asylum and break Thorin's riot at the same time. If you survived the journey through the route to reach me, you may be worthy of this task. Ah, maybe. I ask that you travel with me to the Asylum, stop Thorin, and restore peace to the Isles. Before the exiles manage to reach your realm. Yeah, great. And what do I get in return? I'll help you, Starter. I like how they have the same NPCs uh, as were in the original Oblivion Shivering Isles DLC. And I also actually interviewed one of them um, along with Shea Gorath as well. Um, I'll leave that interview down below in the description if you're interested. But what's in it for me if I help you? The Shivering Isles are rich with treasures and wonders to take back with you. Ah. They will pass back to the Isles in time, but you can enjoy these spoils for the rest of your fleeting mortal life. Very well. I'm not interested, yeah, I'll help. You are about to be given a rare honor, mortal. Follow then, into the Isles. Started the Isles of Madness. Enter the Asylum. I will in a moment, but there's a, a note here. Exiled Apostle. Thorin's old orders. Starda has fled the asylum. She is the last obstacle to our brilliant future. Kill her and I will be free to lead all into the light. This is a task set to you by your prophet. Ah, so he's a bit of a, a maniac with a cultish-like bunch of followers. The Dwarven Mace does 33 damage. The Golden Mace does 39, Golden Sword does 33, so the Seducer's weapons are actually better. And I do like the appearance of them as well. I can sell these once I get to the aisle, come on. Can I take you with me, Genesa? We're going on an adventure, follow me. To the Shivering Isles. I welcome you, mortal, to the Shivering Isles. Wow. This is the Asylum. At the far reaches of the Isles, Beyond the walls of the fringe. Here, the Prince of Madness imprisons those who have opposed or defied him. Escape is, was, impossible. Until Thorin rallied the exiles, that is. Our guards were destroyed. The asylum fell into chaos. When the Mad Guard left the realm to visit Pelagius, the Isles stretched out their roots to find him, creating a pathway to your solitude. Now he has returned, but the route remains agitated. Something is disrupting it, and I believe Thorin is behind it. Now then, we should speak to Dylora, my colleague. In her wisdom, she is elected to guard the impenetrable walls that separate the asylum from the fringe, rather than the open passage to- A dark seducer. I know you stopped talking. I didn't mean to interrupt you. 
She's busy. Oh, sorry. Rather than the open passage to your realm. Oh, okay, that was the end of the conversation. I reloaded just in case you missed something. But man, I love the lighting change. It looks stunning. Oh, I just get such nostalgia looking around at this beautiful landscape. I can't wait to take off my clothes and run naked through Mania, just like I did as a child. Oh, and now the lighting gets really bright again because we're... Oh, are these gatekeepers? Hello. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, watch out! Finish him! Oh, God. Is that all you can do? Whoa. Oh, I disarmed him! I never use the shielded perks, but they're pretty effective. He's actually not even doing anything now. Oh no, he's picked it back up. He's not stupid. Oh, what an absolute battle maiden. Go on, go on. Finish him, finish him, finish him. Do it again. Do it again, do it again. I'm watching. Look, I want. Oh. Yes! It seems Dylora has allowed her position to be overrun. The Mad God should not have trusted this task to her. This will make our fight more difficult. Do you think Dolores is dead? I doubt it. They would have left her body for all to see. She is commander of the Dark Seducers. Even as a simpering mazkin, she would be difficult prey for mortals. No. If she has not willingly abandoned her post, then she has been taken. Thorin will likely have darker purposes for her. Naughty. <laughs> Where would the exiles have taken her? Their tracks point towards Stopgap. An abandoned village along the coast. The exiles use it as an encampment. There is an exile chief who dwells there. I ask you to slay him and discover what they plan for Dylora. I do not know what they hope to gain from holding her, but I will not allow Thorin's schemes to further weaken our position. I shall keep watch over the doors, the crossroads, and the route. Return successfully, or not at all. Oh, <laughs> savage, okay. God damn, you are cool. I can hear the most beautiful soundtrack in the background, and I'm literally gonna... I hope they have an OST out for this, because this is gonna be my new sort of chill-out painting song when I'm painting my Lord of the Rings army. Dark Warhammer. <laughs> Appropriate. Dark Seducer Boots. Oh, yes. Do you have any armor? Lockpick? Oh, what is a shroom beetle? Let's have a taste. Spell absorption discovered. It jump-scared me. A white ring moon. Restore magicka. Oh god, I'm feeling a bit weird, man. <laughs> Blister pod? What's this do? Oh, that's damage health. <laughs> Ravage health up here. Dude, look at that view. I think we're going to be quite happy here, Jenisa. Need something. It's my goal to if give that you, is what you wish. the whole Dark Seducers set. Starting with these boots. Ah, oh, yes. On, yeah, and so it begins. Oh god, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy after those plants I ate. So you're just gonna sit here by the fire while I go off and do all the work? Welcome to the asylum, your eternal punishment. Please take a complimentary fork. Oh, they have forks. Let's have a look around. This is like the training camp area. I just can't get over this amazing view. I wanna, like, they've, they've done the Todd Howard thing where you have, like, landmarks in the distance that you can see and you wanna go off and explore them. Yes. So my current quest is to rescue Dylora. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, wow. It's the Shivering Isles. We've not discovered this area of fog here. But whereas Dylora is actually over here, whereas this is the wall. So are we currently in, like, the Pale or something? I'm not sure. Let's go to Stop Gap. I've not played this game, uh, the Shivering Isles, since my childhood, so... You know... I don't remember all the locations, but everything kind of sounds familiar. Oh, damn, this is beautiful. Look at this. You can see, like, the swampy areas where they've got these old sort of houses on the stilts. Who's this? Oh, it's one of the Apostles. Oh, we've triggered. We've triggered them. Let's go and get him before he can use magic. No, you don't. Kill the priest. Oh god, oh god, what is that? What is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Get away from me. Run away. I'm being slowed by the frost magic. Ah, Jenisa, please help me take this dude out. 
Look at him, he's a madman. His name is Swarvrig. Is he like one of the commanders or something? Or oh, dodge his axe blows. Otherwise he'll probably execute me. Oh, God, no, no, that's not good. Oh, God. I need you to take this guy out. Will do. Come on, you, you bait this dude over. Oh, wait, okay, you're just running out. You have a bow and arrow, though. Oh, God, Jenison. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. I'm coming. <laughs> Look at him go. He's so angry. Let's finish him off first. Get Rex some. Genesis got him. If she can tank that wizard, that would really help me take this guy out. Because he does a lot of damage. Oh, I got him down. I got him down. Let's go. He's only using his frost spray perk, but Mike, I literally cannot get to you. Come back here. Die, exile priest. Oh, he has a dark dagger. It's got some engravings on. Oh, it's just like some kind of bubbles. It doesn't actually say anything. I'll see you burn. Hopefully she can take out this archer while I defend her with my shield. Like a true battle brother. That hit me right in the head. Oh, God, are you okay? Oh, void essence. Why don't we eat that? Restore health discovered. Ah, oh, that's pretty helpful. He has dark arrows, a dark battle axe, which looks insanely cool, and a key to the hall. He also has dark seducer armor as well, which I will give to Genesa in a moment. So I know you boys want to see her in that. <laughs> oh, the soundtrack is so good. Get back. Don't even try. Oh, yes. Right into the crotch. Look at him. Absolutely destroyed him. All right, let's head on inside. I think there's still like one guy in here shooting arrows on the fortress walls, perhaps. Dude, this is a sick little fortress, though. Look at this place. It looks really cool. So what's this? Another dark bow and more dark arrows. Uh, I've got some arrows for you. Hmm. She's never so grateful. If that is what you wish. Be grateful. I'm giving you stuff. Uh, okay. Here you go. Oh, yes. Oh, God, no. The helmet was too much. Since followers have unlimited arrows, we can give her, like, five arrows, and she'll just have unlimited. Oh, Lead beautiful. On, I am going to take your helmet off you, though, because... Yes. There we go. That's better. Now Let's you go. look marvelous. Okay, I can't go because you're in the way. Okay, so we have the key for this hall, but I want to, like, look around here. There's, like, a nice little crack den over here. Oh, some wine. All their houses are on stilts because it's like a marshland. It's ergonomic architecture. Look at this place. It's so cool. I love the stilt houses. Oh, look. There's some um, quicksilver and a dark war axe. It's better than my axe. What else is over here? Oh, look, there's a little nesting area for these pet crabs. What do you do, huh? It's a magic disappearing act, eh? Impressive. But I think we need to go inside here. And we have the key for it now. Hello? Anyone here? I thought they were holding our friend captive here. There is a note and a lot of shroom beetle broth. What disgusting food to have to eat. Thorin's orders. Sparring. The last of our turnkeys have predictably failed to cooperate. Wait until the saint abandons the seducer. Then strike with your full force. She must be captured alive. I have questions for this one. Have her delivered to my excavation in the southeast. The crystal should affect her just so. Oh, is he talking about the Grey Order and the crystals? Eat these orders after completion. <laughs> my plans cannot fall into enemy hands. Ah, you had one job. One job. You had all this food and you just had to eat the paper, but you didn't. It's a cool little uh, see. Oh, look, it's like uh, the church pews. This is where their cult probably met to worship. Ah, okay, so this is where we killed the archer. The exiled priest, riddled with arrows. What is a fungal stalk? Is it edible? Yes, everything is edible. Look at all these arrows. Dude was just... Oh, there's a chest. Chest. A black soul gem. Interesting. So he was just sitting here keeping watch for enemies. Dude, the whole this whole location is just awesome. I love it. Can we hop down from here? And that taking too much damage? Yep, that's fine. Come down from there, Jenna. Come on. 
Oh, she's, she's gonna take the stairs. She's not an idiot like me. So this excavation site is actually around the back over here in Glimmering Hollow. There's also a drowned ruin in between us and that. And there's also a Seize the Moon shack. So we've got to go all around the south of the island here to get to Glimmering Hollow where we can rescue Dylora. So let's start heading over. However, there's a sunken ruin in between us and there. So I think we'll go there first. All right, let's head out and over to this next location with my new dark axe. It's going to be quite a fair way, I believe, but we can probably come along the coastal path here. Dude, the landscape looks so good. Makes me so excited for Sky Oblivion as well. Like, just these complete overhauls. Get wrecked. Die. Ah, I killed your child. Now what are you going to do, you beastly creature? You can't even attack me, huh? Die. And take your venom, because I will need that. I have none of my own. I think we can take the coastal path just down here, actually. Because there is a sunken ruin that I want to explore on the way over there. I can see in the distance here. No idea what to expect, but the modded dungeons by these craters are always the best. Looting all the ingredients as we go. So here we go, this is the, uh, the flooded dungeon. It looks almost Aztec. It reminds me of, uh, I can't remember those little green frog-like creatures, but this is kind of like where they would usually hang out. Oh yeah, the Germites? What, what are they called? I can't remember. Okay, let's let's bait him out here. Janissa doesn't like him. Rummite! God, she's going in, she's going, whoa! I'll get you, I'll save you, don't worry. Look at them, they look amazing, don't they? Come on, baby. Come on then! Ah! <laughs> it looks so cool! Oh my god, they make awesome sound effects as well. Grumite arrows, ha! <laughs> and the potent- oh, they even use poison! And they even have the dagger! Dude, this was always the coolest dagger in- Shivering Isles. I mean, look at that. It's like a proper sort of tribal weapon. And the Grammite bow as well, which looks... Dude, the 3D models and stuff, so cool. That's such a good job. So many funguses to harvest. The DLC that added all the ingredients didn't actually add the plants as well, I don't believe. So it's nice to see all the plants as well. Mate, look at the size of these mushrooms. My god. So where's the entrance to this ruin? just want to explore around here a little bit before we go on there we go into the actual ruin itself. It's a nice little sort of boggy island area. Interest. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, what is that? What is that creature? God, what is that? Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Uh, it's very hungry. Oh, oh, no you don't. Ah! It looks terrifying. It looks like it's going to deal some damage. Let's go. Get Rex. How much damage do you do? Not that much, actually. Come back here. Don't run away now, you foolish creature. Oh, no, you don't. Die. Ah. What a horrible sound it makes when it dies. A hunger tongue? A weakness to fire discovered. Amazing. Even some uh, blister pods here as well. All right, let's go back to the sunken ruin and see where the actual entrance is. Because the entrance is just down here, hidden away. The drowned ruin. Oh, wow. It's almost, uh, it gives me Aelid ruin vibes. That, like, subtle blue hue that it has down here. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, cool. There's, like, a interior battle going on. Let's see who wins this. Oh, it looks like the Grumites might win, though. There are two of them. Oh, it's running. Or is it a tactical retreat? It's killed their child. They're angry. Oh, get wrecked. We might go and help it out, maybe. I'm coming. I'll save you. Don't worry. Let's kill these Grumites together. Oh, God. Oh, I did not expect them to turn around like that. Let's go. Boom. Oh, dude, that was a beautiful combo. Get wrecked. Give me your... Oh, Madness Ore. There it is. 
I mean, we've seen this before, obviously, it was added by the Creation Club DLC, but... And the Grumite Cleaver. God, they've done such a good job on all these 3D weapons, and this soundtrack is just insanely good. Look at that. It's just made out of, like, fish bones. It's even got... He's decorated with little clamshells, look. It's adorable. Do you like that, Genesa? Do you want one of those? No? Okay. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that looks... Mate, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. This looks more inviting. Is that a mushroom? I don't know what that is. Hello there. Hello. Oh, God! I didn't actually notice them. I thought they were part of the floor. Die! Ah! 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 Yes, give me your venom. It's a very dark and gloomy place, this. I'm coming up behind him. Direct. I guess their own venom doesn't work on them. In theory. It usually does. Jesus, they're going ham on me. Ah! Ah! Dennis is really carrying me here, doing all that damage. Oh my god, this is a, a big dungeon. Oh, wow. It opens up into a massive cavern. Let's hold them at the gate. Get wrecked. Oh god, that one's big. Look at it. I, it I, it's got like this uh, weird praying mantis vibe where it stands on its hind legs. I went to Thailand uh, recently for my friend's wedding and um, we actually saw some praying mantises like in real life just in the wild, which is pretty insane. And they, they kind of look terrifying, to be honest. They're tiny. Well, actually, they're bigger than you think they are. There's like a few ways out of this cavern. I'm going to choose this path here. Let's see what we find. This seems to be going deeper and deeper. Don't, get too far. Don't go too far ahead, she's like. Don't tell me what to do. Do what I please. You've been poisoned. It's always the worst when you're fighting crossbite spiders. Come on, then. Get back. Even more poison. Die. They seem to do most of their damage from the poison. This is the old Oblivion soundtrack now. They've mixed it in with the combat music. Mad nostalgia, mate. Oh, it's a Spriggan. Oh, come to my axe, pretty one. Jesus. A lot of damage. Don't have any stamina to stop the hill, but we're fine. We managed to kill the Gnarl. Actually has some amber on it, which is cool. Oh god, there's like several gatekeepers that just come out of nowhere and attack Janus. Let's use Battle Cry and try and save her. Oh god! I got barbecued. Let's use a resistance to magic and also heal up here. Then I'm gonna go straight for the mage. As long as you can't use fire on me, we're okay. God, you're an ugly one. Oh god, that's painful. Get out of here. Jesus. Are you dead? I've killed his follower. This guy has so much health. Kill him, Jalisa. We've got to keep attacking. Thank God. Avoid essence. I will eat it for the health boost. Probably make a powerful health potion out of that, but nevertheless. Was that a dead end? Oh, there is a hollowed stump at the end with some amber. That was cool. But where did these uh, gatekeeper-like creatures come from? Did that fire just turn on? Oh, is this the buff bust of Sher Gorath? Oh my god, it's a shrine of forks. And the key of Sai Sharpe. But cast iron pots as well. So where does this go? If I didn't know any better, I'd say this was leading me to a boss room. Oh hello. There's an enemy up here. Attack! Die! Okay, so this has led us full circle back to the start of the dungeon. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Get wrecked, sir. I'm just gonna let Genesis do the damage here. She's finishing them off pretty effectively. If she could actually hit them, that would be really helpful. Lol, we're destroying them together. Get wrecked. 
Okay, so that leads back down to the start. It is a flesh atronaut. They're massive. Who's making all of these? Oh my god, I've just noticed when you come back up the stairs, like, what is that? Isn't that one of the, like, stone statues of the Gremites that they have in their tombs? They kind of, like, worship them. Or themselves. Their statue of themselves, but... A weird black saccharine being performed on this stitch flesh atronaut. Hello there, where did you come from? Get wrecked, son. Human flesh, void essence, human heart, bloody rags. They were clearly making the, uh, the Atronauts here. There's loads of soul gems and black soul gems as well. And even well card stones. What's this? There's a storage cabinet. Wait. Aren't you meant to come out? Oh, I'm inside it. Come here, Janice. I want to... This is meant to be a secret entrance. Look. Just a storage area. With a bed. And there's a chest. So... That's interesting. It comes out at another entrance with another staircase going up. And there's a ladder that goes back to the Shivering Isles. Oh, wow. Look at that view. Oh, I know where we are. That was the encampment we did for the main quest. Dude, this is such a nice view of it. Let's see the wall of, of uh, the aisle. That's where we came from. Awesome. Let's go back down. All right, now we can go ahead and exit. What the? So, oh, well, there's another dead seducer here. So this is actually the Great Tower. Where are we now on the map? Oh, I'm, I'm all the way over here, the Tower of ZX. So he went from here to here. Oh, that's so cool. Usually it just leads you back to the same dungeon. But now we've cleared both locations. I'm just gonna fast travel back here and then head over to the Glimmering Cave. But that's so cool. I had no idea they were connected. All right, I'm back at the Sunken Temple. I can see there's another location being not discovered. I really wanna like fully explore this mod as we go. What is a scallion? Oh, this is the creature that they have the statue of. They seem to worship. Janissa, are you with me? Oh, God. It looks pretty powerful. I don't want it to hit me. Oh, there she is. She's behind it. I'm engaging. Get wrecked, son. What difficulty are we on? We're an expert. Don't get too far ahead. Okay, stop it, Mom. Please. God, Lydia's like the battle maiden who carries your burdens. Genesis just like, don't do this, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a little secret. What's this? What's this? There's, oh, this is a madness orbe. Ah, oh, sick. So we're currently just here on the map. We've discovered this little shack here called Seize the Moon Shack, which sounds like a really high kiji on Skooma. Just going to have to see if we can say hello to him. Hello there. Oh, he's got a uh, madness orb. What is this? Someone new? An outsider. Welcome to my humble shop, stranger. He's so excited. What do you have for sale? All sorts. I have found much here, and it can be yours. <laughs> okay. Bark and sap. He's got free brooms. A cast iron pot. <gasps> Charcoal? Cups? Flame store? Apart from the alchemy ingredients, my dude's just selling random stuff he's found. Oh, the madness all is pretty good, though. The Shivering Beastery. Oh, second edition. I'll buy that. What can you tell me about the glowing ore? Yes, the ore. The ore. Powerful. Dangerous. Very rare. Smithing it. Rarer still. But I can teach you. Yes, yes. Teach you to work its wonders. Oh, okay. You can teach me to smith it. Yes, yes, but only if you do something for me first. I seek a treasure within the drowned ruins. Bring it to me. Ah, what is the treasure? You will know it when you see it. You will protect me. Protect me from the lunar resonations. I can feel them in my mind. I've got to block them out. All right, uh, I'll look for the treasure. Blessings upon you. Make haste. Started. 
the Lucian's Lunatic's treasure. How did you manage to tame these bugs? Oh, it took a while, but I did it. Fed them scraps and other things. They know how to behave now. They're like my friends. <laughs> They're your friends. And they can be your friends too. For a reasonable price. Uh, yeah, sure. Of course, of course. Which one? Portema or Pelagius? 250 each. Well, you're so willing to sell them. Uh, I'll buy Pelagius. Good, good. May he be a true companion to you. How did you end up in the asylum? I didn't betray the mad god. Not like the others, no, no. When the Grey March came, I protected my home from those shiny, gleamy monstrosities. No, I did something far more unforgivable to the Prince of Madness. I learned the truth. <gasps> the truth? What is the truth? Can't say. Shouldn't say. It's a secret to everyone. They don't know. They aren't allowed to know. They couldn't see it. They were only looking with their eyes, their lying eyes. But I looked beyond, and I could see it. No one else could see it, just me. See what? I can't tell you. They'll know. They're always listening. They know who knows. I never told anyone you know. What I saw, what I still see. But here I am. It didn't matter what I didn't say. They could hear my thoughts. They knew I knew. Knew I could see it. Up there. In the sky. Ah. The moon. I didn't say that. I never said that. Not where they can hear. Never where they can hear. But... Maybe... If you know... Can you see it too? The skin. No, there's no moon here. I do see it. Do you? Do you? Or are you just saying that to trick me? Are you with them? No. No. I can't trust anyone. Okay. Watch your back. There are things out there. Wow. Jesus. Where's my bug? So he gave us this other quest to go back to the room we already found to find the treasure. And it's actually now here, right at the Shrine of Shergurath that we went to when we looked at the ruin. It is the Cast Iron Pot. Oh! The Heart of Disorder is under it! No way! <laughs> okay, let's go back to it. I was looking at it like, oh, he just wants a Cast Iron Pot. Alright, here we are. Let's give him his Cast Iron Pot. <laughs> you startled me. I thought you were one of them. Can't be too careful. I love how paranoid he is. Is this the treasure you were looking for? No, no, no! Useless! Well, not to you, perhaps, but it can't block the lunar frequencies! Then what did you actually want? Wait. I, I smell it! The scent of metal! You have it! Praise! Praise! The, the treasure you wanted was this pot. Give cast iron pot. Wait, it actually was the pot. I was joking. Yes! <laughs> the moon screams are muffled. My mind is safe. One thousand thousand thanks to you. <laughs> oh my god, he's got the pot on his head. <laughs> so you're going to teach me to smith the ore now? Yes, yes. Take my journal. Within is all my knowledge of working the ore. It will <laughs> teach you. It will teach you to be just like me. Isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. It's wonderful. Look at this. It sees the moon journal added. This is the journal. Madness smithing learned. You must know how to craft with madness ore. These I days. love this guy. Okay, so now we've got to go back to the main quest, which is to go to Glimmering Hollow and rescue Dilora just over here on the map. Now we've done all like the side quests in this area. Wait, oh, it actually is a bridge here, but it's slightly submerged underwater. I don't know if it's supposed to be that low, but who knows. Right here at the foothills. Where's my bug that I brought? Is that... I don't... Hmm. Maybe I should have told it to follow me. Oh well. It's a weird area. Something unnerving about this. Glimmering hollow. Here we go. Into the depths we go. 
Ooh. A long way down. Some ladders up to different areas here, which we can't access. Stop this, Thoron. Escape is impossible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. I just need you to help me understand. You are part of the Isles. You are part of the Mad God. Aren't you? Aren't you? He's torturing her. Disgusting! You must stop this, Thoron. Escape is impossible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. I just need you to help me understand. You are part of the Isles. You are part of the Mad God. Aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> It's true. Wait. What is this? I was hoping for Stardom. Why are you here? What do you want with Dylora? Don't you see? She is part of this great and terrible puzzle. But I don't expect you to understand. To you, my purposes are far more mundane. I thought to lure Starter here and crush two beetles with one stone, ridding myself of these meddlesome turnkeys. <laughs> but it seems she sent you to do her dirty work instead. How typical. Ah, oh, no matter. After I kill you, she will have no one left to hide behind. You'll never get out of the aisle, Thoron. You really don't understand, do you? I don't want to get out. I want to get in. Step forward then, outsider. The crystals will so beautifully reflect your blood. Oh, here we go. Don't let him cast a spell, Yanisa. Keep staggering him. Stagger. Don't let him cast. He's too powerful to cast. Ah, there he is. Don't let him cast it. Finish him, Yanisa. Oh god, Jesus Christ, stop, stop! Oh, bloody hell! He's so powerful! Pathetic! You're pathetic! Oh, oh, okay, oh, he's conjuring. Stop that! Attack, Genesis! Wait, his, his lightning doesn't do any damage. Oh no, he's attacking my follower. I was confused. Die! What is that sword he's got? Okay, that does a lot of damage. Attack, Genesa! Look how powerful she is. She's literally tanking everything. Oh god, now we're dead. I missed that shield bash and we died. Here we go. Die. Yes, Genesa. Don't let him leave. Come on. No, don't you dare that card as well. Nope. Stop. No, no, no. God damn it. Okay, okay, he's about to cast again. I need to get some potions ready. I'm gonna resist magic. We're gonna use lingering poison on my axe. Now let's go. Come on, come on, come on. That poison should get him. I have no stamina. Is he down? Oh he's down. That's a cool sword though. Wait, he's back to full health? Whoa, is he? Okay, he's disappearing. Rescue Dialora. Okay, thank God. Oh, she's got a piece of madness ore on her helmet. She's very tall. It's good to see you. <laughs> thank you, stranger. I'm not sure how much longer I had before Thoron finished with me. What was he doing to you? You must be Dylora. I am Gherkin. Well met. Yes, I am Dylora of the Mazkin, Sheagorath's most faithful servants. It seems we've met at a difficult time. Are you alright? To be honest, 
The voice acting, while I think it's still good, I always found the ones from Oblivion to be just super angry all the time, where she seems a bit too polite. I'll be fine. It takes more than a few spells to slay a Nazkin. Harry Potter stands no chance against you. Did you learn anything about Thorin's plans? A little, but only scraps. I can share what I know after we've left this place. I can't help but feel like these crystals are listening. They are. What now? We should return to Starda. Even an Oriel like her is a necessary ally in these dark times. I'm glad you understand that. Nice shield. Look at Genesis. Look, look. Who looks cooler, guys? Who looks cooler? Uh, don't, don't stand that close to me. Greetings. I had some questions about exiles. I will share what I know. Yeah. Tell me about the Apostle of Light. The Apostles of Light are a heretical cult that broke into open rebellion during the last Grey March. I see. They believe Lord Sheagorath abandoned madness itself in the face of Jigalag's attack. This is, of course, a lie. But what matters is that the Apostles believe it. Now, they rage against his influence, even from their prison. They're unpredictable, even for the Isles. Their prophet, Seata, was killed, and her eye was taken for my lord's staff. No. The Apostles must hear enough of Seata's heresy in Thoron's words to declare him their new prophet. And the priest's order? The Priests of Order followed Jigalag, the Prince of Order, and Sheagorath's nemesis during the last Grey March. Many of them turned to his side simply to survive. When they failed, and were cast out of the Mad God's Sanctuary, they rededicated themselves to the Prince of Order, hoping to find... belonging. I see. They wait for him to return so they can rejoin him. As you saw, Thoron wields the Sword of Jigalak, a relic of the Prince of Order. The priests seem to have taken it as a sign of his worthiness. How did he get the sword, I wonder? That must have mean he beat the Hero of Kavach at some point. What is a flesh atronaut? A horrific construct made of elemental flesh. The priests stitch together each one from the choicest cuts of several different bodies and bind a lesser Daedra to the finished form. They should be engaged only with great caution. Mate, I've killed like 20 of them. Really cool references to the lore and how things are... Are you okay? You can put your weapon away, it's okay. Chill, chill, chill. You are so much taller than that, look. You're a tiny woman, Janissa. I am not impressed. You've just been drinking wine down here and torturing each other. It's kind of kinky, to be honest. An amber pickaxe! What? What is this? An amber pickaxe? 39 damage? Can you also use this to mine? I'm on your side. Sorry about that. I prefer the Dark War Axe because I'm just an evil person, but... There's another one over here, Genesis. There's another heart of the Order down here. What happens if we eat it? Health restore discovered. Just eat the heart of the Order. I like it. Tasty. What would it taste like, do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's head outside and return and reunite. Okay, let's fast travel back to the Doors of Denial. <laughs> what a great name for the doors. Dylora, you should not have allowed yourself to be captured. Good to see you too, Starda. Perhaps if you'd stayed with me instead of scurrying down a tunnel to a realm the Exiles have no interest in, I wouldn't have been. <laughs> I told you I was going to find aid. I have found it. Besides, you look fine. Tell me, how does Thorin and the Exiles plot fare? Have you learned anything new? His rambling gave me some sense of his plan. He intends to take control of the route and use it to break through the walls. Impossible. Only the Mad God. It's possible, Starda. The route is the Isles, and the Isles are the Mad God. That's what he said. It's madness to try, but that's what he's counting on. He's wielding the Sword of Jigalag, and he's uncovered an obelisk of order. He's made himself a lair deep within the root, hidden under the falls. The perfect place to carry out his plan. Then we must travel there at once and slay him before he escapes. 
If it were that simple, I'd do it myself. He's constructed an amber barrier to seal off the entrance. There's no way inside. Not unless we carve one out ourselves. In order to break through Thorin's barrier, we will need a powerful weapon tied to the Isles. Nothing else is strong enough to shatter pure amber. Where can we find a weapon like that? I mean, I have the Wabajack. One such artifact, the Hammer Nerve Shatter, was sealed away in the ruins of Borogov long ago. Oh, sweet. Search the ruins, destroy any exiles you see, and bring it to us. It should prove strong enough in even your mortal hands. Is there anything else I can do? Dylora may have learned more of Thorne's plans than she would deign to share with me. You should speak to her. Very well. I'll find a suitable weapon. And obviously Never Shatter is a Creation Club weapon, along with other weapons that were added to the game, and they've like integrated them so you can find these artifacts within the Shivering Isles, which is insanely cool. Waste no more time. Thorin's power over the route grows the longer we delay. Oh! <laughs> Completed Hello. the Isle of Madness. The Roots of Madness. And so a plan emerged on how we would bring back the old of the Mad Gods to order. I will link the next part in the description below, guys. But drop a like on this episode if you enjoyed it, because it really helps support the Let's Play. And of course, you can also subscribe with a bell icon, so YouTube notifies you when the episode comes out. Recent. Thanks for watching.